test of an armored rocket launcher saw the launch of 138 rockets at White Sands Missile Range in a single day. The goal of the test, conducted June 16th, was to evaluate the improved armored cab on the M270A1 Multiple Launch Rocket System, or MLRS, a tracked vehicle capable of launching many different kinds of rockets and missiles. While the MLRS has been in the inventory for decades, the improved armor, intended to protect the crew from attacks by IEDs and other close-in weapons, makes important changes to the system, and testing must be done to ensure the changes don't affect the system's ability to perform. The, the, num the number uh, to be shot is, is equivalent to that of, of a normal um, high op tempo uh, operation, and, it, and, the, and the vehicle and the platform is supposed to be able to prove out the capability and ensure that the new upgrades, the new modernizations have not degraded that uh, operational capability. To get the most realism out of the event, soldiers were brought in to operate the launcher, putting the system through the same kind of stress it would see in the field. I think it's different in the aspect that we're getting our hands on something before everybody else is. We're going to get an opportunity to pass some of this information on to uh, some of our counterparts in the rear. And as opposed to our normal training, I would have to say that we're doing a lot more consistent fires and really pushing the limits of what these launchers can do. The test was conducted at White Sands Missile Range due to its large range area and extensive experience with the MLRS testing. A special launch area was cleared to allow the MLRS to move between shots, just like it needs to do in combat, and the airspace cleared to ensure the test was conducted safely. Well, the, the MLRS program in general has a, has a long history with White Sands. We've been testing with them essentially since their beginning, and uh, we, we've continued to provide them you know, the, the support they need to do uh, these new system tests as well as launcher tests. By modernizing the MLRS, the system will be able to see continued use for the foreseeable future.